A lone figure stands at dusk on the high plains near the Caucasus Mountains, her eyes glinting like emeralds in the firelight. Elders gather, murmuring in awe, for none have seen such eyes before. In those green irises, they see the flicker of forest spirits and the promise of something otherworldly. Ancient storytellers would later whisper of a child born with eyes of jade, a gaze said to hold the secrets of earth and sky. Such is the mythic dawn of green eyes, a rare spark of color that would travel through time, carrying legends in its wake. Yet behind this enchanting image lies a very real genetic tale. Green eyes with their alluring hue do not actually contain any green pigment at all. Instead, their color is a curious trick of light and biology. The iris of a green eye has only a small amount of the brown pigment melanin and a slight tint of a yellowish pigment called lipochrome. When light enters the eye, it scatters in the semi-transparent layers of the iris, a phenomenon similar to how sunlight scatters in the sky to create blue. In a green eye, this scattering causes a blue-toned light to reflect back. Blended with the eye's natural amber-brown undertone, the result is a green hue, an optical illusion painted by moderate melanin, a hint of yellow, and the physics of light. Eye color is polygenic, shaped by around 16 genes. OCA2 and HERC2 are key in controlling melanin in the iris. A variant in HERC2 can reduce OCA2 activity, resulting in lighter eyes. Green eyes have a medium amount of melanin, more than blue, less than brown. Other genes like SLC, 24A4 and TYR also influence the blue to green spectrum. Eye color inheritance isn't straightforward. Parents can silently carry genes for green or blue eyes without showing them. That's why two brown-eyed parents can have a green or blue-eyed child. Green eyes remain rare. Only about 2% of people worldwide have them. All modern humans once had brown eyes, the result of high melanin protecting early populations in sun-soaked environments. A major turning point in eye color evolution was a mutation that occurred millennia ago, affecting the OCA2 and HERC2 genes, a change that produced the first blue eyes. Unlike blue eyes, which may point to a single ancient origin. Green eyes probably arose from the mixing of genetic streams as populations moved and mingled across Europe and Asia. One intriguing clue comes from ancient DNA. Some human remains from the Bronze Age, over 4,000 years ago, in southern Siberia showed genetic markers for light-colored eyes, possibly blue or green. This suggests that by that era, the palette of eye colors beyond brown had already appeared in Eurasia. Many researchers believe the earliest green-eyed individuals may have lived in or around the Caucasus Mountains, a region often called the cradle of Caucasian peoples. The Caucasus is a natural land bridge between Asia and Europe, and thousands of years ago, it was a crossroads of migrating tribes and trading caravans. Historical movements meant that the genes for green eyes didn't stay in one place. The Caucasus Mountains had strategic passes used as trade routes and migration paths, which could have spread the green eye trait far and wide. Green eyes likely appeared during the early Indo-European expansions, spreading across Europe, Iran and India. 
The trait arose as a genetic accident in antiquity and traveled with human migration. Green eyes are uncommon, yet they persisted in human populations despite the prevalence of brown eyes. Migration into higher latitudes with reduced ultraviolet exposure made high melanin levels in the eyes less necessary for protection. In these environments, lighter eye colors no longer faced any clear selective disadvantage, so gene variants responsible for these shades could remain in the population. Sexual selection may have also played a part. Traits that are rare or visually striking, such as green eyes, tend to draw attention. In populations dominated by brown eyes, a green-eyed individual could be considered highly attractive, increasing the likelihood of those genes being inherited by future generations. The founder effect is another factor. When a small group carrying the genes for lighter eyes forms an isolated population, these genes can become much more common in the group over time due to limited genetic diversity. Examples can be observed in Iceland and some isolated communities where green and blue eyes are present at much higher rates than the global average, reflecting the impact of both ancestry and population isolation. Green eyes are among the rarest globally, seen in only about 2% of people. Most individuals with green eyes are of European ancestry. The highest frequencies are found in Northern and Western Europe, especially in Ireland and Scotland. In these regions, when green and blue eyes are combined as light eyes, the rate can exceed 85%. Pure green eyes alone make up around 25% of the population in some Celtic areas. Icelandic surveys report 18 to 21% of women and 8 to 10% of men with green eyes while Dutch studies show about 16 to 17 percent among women. Occasionally, specific European towns show rates of up to 30 percent, though these are based on small samples. The North Sea and Baltic regions remain the global hotspots for green eyes. Moving further east and south, green eyes become less common but do persist, especially in the Caucasus, where Armenia, Georgia and Chechnya still have notable numbers. Here, green or grey eyes likely reflect both ancient and ongoing admixture. In the Middle East and Central Asia, green eyes are uncommon, though isolated populations occasionally display them due to historic mixing with light-eyed groups. A striking example exists in Likian, a village in northwestern China. Here, a significant proportion of residents have green or blue eyes and lighter hair. Some legends connect this to Roman ancestry, though the genetic story remains complex. Lycians people show how genetic traits can persist and travel over great distances. By contrast, Green eyes are almost absent in Africa and East Asia, except in cases involving recent genetic mixing. High melanin levels in these populations make light eyes extremely rare. Across history and cultures, green eyes have carried a range of meanings. Their rarity and striking color led to both fascination and suspicion. In Greek mythology, green eyes sometimes signified divine power or heritage. Myths along the Mediterranean coast described sea gods and nymphs with green eyes, echoing the shades of the sea itself. In medieval Europe, green-eyed women became linked to ideas of magic or witchcraft, feeding old superstitions about the unknown. This suspicion 
likely arose because green eyes were so rare within most communities. Over time, literature and art used green eyes as symbols of beauty, mystery and mischief. In English writing, green eyes also became connected to jealousy. Shakespeare's phrase, the green-eyed monster, from his play Othello, turned the colour into a lasting metaphor for envy. These ideas, shaped by centuries of myth and imagination, still influence how green eyes are seen today. If you have green eyes, remember, you are part of one of the world's rarest and most unique groups. Across history, from ancient campfires to the mountain valleys of the Caucasus, green eyes have always been seen as mysterious, beautiful, and just a little bit magical. You carry a story in your DNA that stretches back thousands of years, even to the legendary peoples of the Caucasus region. Curious about how other rare traits, like blue eyes, first appeared? Or want to explore the DNA journeys of nations across the globe? Visit our channel to watch our videos on the origins of blue eyes and the fascinating genetic histories of different peoples. From Europe to the Middle East and beyond. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell us in the comments if you have green eyes or if there's another genetic story you'd like to learn about. Thanks for joining us and see you on our next journey through history, genetics, and the mysteries of the human story.